Okay, I thought I would do a, an aquaponics update this morning. It's nice weather, even though there's not a whole lot changed. Um, you see my broccoli's grown. They got a real long shoot. I don't know if that's going to get much bigger or not. Uh, plants are doing eh, so-so. You know, the broccoli still looks nice and green. Or greener, much greener than it was. And I got two stalks that are that big. And there's the one that was really kind of died back and was small to begin with. It's got lots of green on it. Uh, just nothing seems to be growing real, real fast. I've got the lettuce seed in. Um, it seems to be better than it was. Um, after I added the uh, seaweed extract, that seemed to give it some nutrients and give it a little bit of help. Uh, there's the Brussels sprouts. They're looking much greener than they were, even though it still has some red leaves along the bottom. But the uh, the two other uh, Brussels sprouts that I had, let me show you where I moved those to. I moved them over into the, the NFT system. Uh, just to kind of see how they do. They don't have real great color. They're really yellow and red leaves are kind of curling. Um, although it does have some growth down in the middle, or they seem to. Um, just not real dark green. It's kind of a pale green growth. I assume maybe that's nitrogen deficiency because I just don't think I don't think I have enough fish uh, to produce the amount of waste yet and I was kind of holding off on getting the uh, catfish <coughs> until the system really cycled well but uh, I don't know I may end up taking a chance just to get uh, the more fish waste as you can see it's kind of a dark brown color in there. Uh, you know, I added the uh, Maxicrop seaweed extract and it really discolored the water and I think it's kind of stained the tank. Um, actually, if you look down in, the water has really cleared up. It looks very clear. There is some algae on the side. Um, but the water is fairly clear. It's just that the uh, I think the max crop kind of stained the tank itself, which is fine. I mean, just can't. It's just not as pretty clear <laughs> to see the fish as it was. But you can see them down there, and there's some of them eating. Um, the fish seem very happy, and. Uh, you know, I mean, everything's going fairly. I just, I just think the plants are really kind of waiting for for more nutrients. Uh, you know, for everything to come in balance. You know, we got the onions that shot up, but they never really done anything. They're kind of brown on the ends. Um, you know, we got carrots. They seem to have took off a little bit better since I added the max crop and the spinach. Uh, I think that's a different type of lettuce over there. I don't really remember. That might be, you know, it's just barely coming up. That might be some type of head lettuce, possibly. But, uh, I mean, you know, everything looks fair. I just think it's to be expected with a, a new system. And uh, hopefully I'll figure out some things to grow later in the summer. That'll be able to take the heat. And... Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. I mean, I'm, I need to test the water again today and see if the ammonia's come up. But I think everything's doing fair. Now, I will, <laughs> one non-aquaponics note, uh, my hops are really doing, ta taking off. They're really doing great. Um, the one vine over there, and I don't remember what variety it is, but it's, it's eight foot up the rope now. Um, so the hops are really doing well. Of course, I have three different varieties, so they kind of have their own growth rates. Um, you know, there's one. I think that is a uh, 
maybe a centennial, I don't remember, but it's just barely jumping off. Um, but definitely the other three have really taken off. <laughs> They've got well established in the ground from when I put the rhizomes in last year. And the grapes are doing well. So everything around the yard is definitely looking like spring. So I'm really happy. Anyway, and there's my dog Lady. Lady's really happy too. <laughs> happy to be out here in the nice weather. So that's my aquaponics update. And uh, if anybody has any kind of uh, ideas as far as getting things going a little quicker, uh, I think my only solution is just to get some more fish. Uh, I don't really want to get a bunch more goldfish, but I may go ahead and chance getting some catfish and hoping uh, that they'll be able to to take the stress of uh, the spike in ammonia and everything. Uh, I might be getting close. I'll just have to test the pH again today and the, uh, the ammonia and see if the ammonia is coming up. But nothing new other than the, the plant activity. So just kind of wanted to give a little update on that. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And we'll see you again on the next update.